So uh, you said you're a policeman? I'm a policeman for uh, going on my 29th year. Well, my name is Derek. Derek. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same Pete, man. and uh, where do you work? Uh, in the Youngstown, Ohio area. It's a five hour drive from here. So uh, what brings you out here today, Pete? Well, a couple years ago, I, I finally opened my eyes to, to what's being placed in our food corruption taking place within organizations such as the Federal uh, Food and Drug Administration, the USDA, the EPA, by allowing toxic cancer-causing ingredients to be placed into our food supply, even though there's laws that ban anything that causes cancer to be placed in food, these laws are totally ignored. I believe that corporate interests for years control our government. I don't think anybody can dispute that. And I've spent uh, going on 29 years as a policeman and protecting people, and I am going to retire in uh, seven more months, and I am going to devote the majority of my time protecting people in a different way by trying to bring to light and get people just to open their eyes and at least get on a computer, get on your smartphone. Google dangers of anything, da dangers of GMO foods. Over 90% of the foods that we eat today contain genetically modified organisms. So uh, I see a lot of law enforcement out here today. Now you yourself say you are a member of law enforcement. What role do you think law enforcement has to play today? Oh, they're just keeping the peace. They're just keeping the peace. Making sure uh, nobody gets hurt and gets out of line. Yeah, I would say that um, I would describe the uh, presence of police as extremely peaceful. Uh, would you agree? Sure, absolutely. Cool. And uh, what, what sort of role do you think the um, government should have in uh, regulating GMOs? A lot of people are out here today saying um, that they should be labeled. Would you say that you're in that camp as well? I think they should be banned. Uh, no, I don't, at the very, the, in baby steps they should be labeled, but uh, the grand scheme of things they need to be banned totally. Why is that? Well, according to the Food and Drug Administration and USDA, they say no human studies are necessary on GMOs. However, the first uh, animal studies were released in Europe last year that showed cancerous tumors in lab rats in as little as 70 days that were fed to GMO corn. And yeah. since those studies have been released, I believe there's approximately 22 countries, right Russia, right India, right now, uh, and a whole host of other countries that are banning GMOs until there's further proof. So uh, you, uh, as a law enforcer, well, would you, um, if it were the law, would, would you uh, carry out an arrest of, of uh, say, a grocery store clerk who refused to label their GMOs? I don't, it's never going to come to a law enforcement officer's position to do that. Uh, I'm sure that would come from uh, whether it be the health department or some other agency. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I'm sure it, it would never come to a law enforcement officer that would, that would step into a, to a private business like that. Well, aren't there people who are refusing? Beforehand. Aren't there people who are refusing to label? Well, there, there are no labeling laws. Ah, okay. There are no labeling laws right now. So you want there to be laws to, to label, and you say that's right. a baby step in getting them banned. Right. So if people refuse to obey the law, though, you want them arrested. Well, they should, uh, well, I'm sure they would never be arrested. I'm sure that, that, that the company would be fined. Uh, but you have all these big food conglomerates, uh, Kraft, Nestle, Hershey, uh, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Kellogg's, Post. I agree with you. It's much more likely that they'll comply. But I'm seeing a lot of resistance from um, businesses that are really surprising me. So is it is it possible that... Uh, it's probably a cost factor to, to, to them. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and education. I, I tell people you have to be re-educated today and don't listen to what you heard 40 years ago when you were in first grade. You have to literally re-educate yourself. We have been sheep. I was a sheep. I was a sheep for years. I am no longer a sheep. I have opened my eyes. Yeah, I agree with you that education is so important on this issue and, and many others. Well, you've been really generous with your time, Pete. I want to thank you for uh, chatting with me and answering some relatively difficult questions. You're welcome. All right.